Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this is the time for library of the week and in this series as you know we try to focus on those libraries which are made by community and can be useful in uh, the Flutter projects. So I have been playing with a lot of libraries recently and one thing I want to say that you know uh, I really love the work of the Chinese community for Flutter libraries like Dio and uh, there are many uh, libraries made by the Chinese community so you might have got the idea already that in this video also we are gonna talk about one of the Chinese library so we are talking about here this uh, boat toast so yes this is not just a simple toast library guys uh, as it is written here a really easy to use flutter toast library it's more than that actually it the best part about this library is that it does not uh, you know um, have any kind of restrictions in terms of you can display anything notifications text loading attachments pictures whatever you want and then it's purely written in dart that means you will not have any platform dependency and then uh, i think uh, so once uh, it you will get used to it it you will see that how easy it is to use and then um, the documentation also looks good in fact uh, they have told that how they are doing the rendering part and as you can see this is done by the chinese community right uh, so without any delay i'm just gonna go and i'm gonna tell you how it works so as you can see first of all you have to go to uh, in, in your pubspec.yml and here you will add this package boat toast version 2.2.0 is the current one and now um, as you can see on the screen yes so this is the something which we have so first what you have to do you have to wrap your material app with this boat toast in it okay and once you do that then in the navigator observer you have to add boat toast navigator observer okay and let me just tell you what it is doing it is basically um, it's it's good for some reasons uh, actually it it actually helps you in um, um, let's say you if you don't do this then you might have to write a lot of code and you won't be able to use it anywhere without you know passing anything without any context but if you do this then it is going to make your life very easy you can go inside and you can see the implementation what I want to say what it's actually be, uh, doing there and then um, so this, these are the two things which you have to do initially. Just uh, wrap your material app with boat toast in it. And then in the navigator observers, just add boat toast navigator observer object. And then in the, there's a boat toast example where you can see I have show text, like I have many raised buttons. And I'm also gonna give you the demo, so don't worry. So as you can see, we have uh, around five buttons here. So first one is show text, okay and uh, for that i have just written this simple line boat to toast dot show text as you can see i'm not passing any context or anything i'm just passing the text what i want to display then you can see uh, in the show simple notification i'm just uh, just calling this method show simple notification then for loading i am doing show loading there are many properties you can use inside these and then for attachment, I'm saying show attachment widget. And then there is a attached builder in the documentation. It is something else. So make sure you are writing attached builder uh, and the documentation can be in Chinese. So you have to translate it. And then in the center, I just want to show a card inside the card. I want to show this heart icon and that's it. And there's a duration and target. Um, then the custom toast uh, will we'll see what what it um, will do okay so first of all as you can see on the screen we have a show text so I'm gonna click on it and you can see we have a simple text with some animation right here and it looks good if you just put a comma here then you can see we have lot of properties so animation duration border radius click close if you click then it will close cross page uh, only one wrap uh, wrap animation wrap toast animation alignment background color and a lot of that we are gonna see some of them very soon now i'm gonna just click on the show simple notification as you can see there is a close button as well if you want you can remove that button so let's say if you see here then there will be close icon okay hide close button so if i will make it true then you will see that if i click here then there is no 
close icon anymore right now there is show loading and as you can see this is the loading which it shows and it's, it's kind of cool right and if i just click anywhere it will close because there is a click close property which is true which i have done true then show attachment widget you will see in the center there is a heart and there's an animation as well and then there is a custom toast so i hope you already got the idea about this beautiful library and uh, it works pretty good and see just it's it's very simple to use that's the best part about it and now i'm gonna show you some demos so if you'll see here this is the bot uh, bot toast demo so this is the simple notification it also um, gives you a code here okay that you can just uh, just check this code and you can use it so simple notification again you can see do you still love me yes so this is the simple notification there are some parameters which you can play with let's say i if i increase the animation duration to 1000 milliseconds then you will see the notification will come very slowly and it it if you want to change the reverse as well then you will see it will go also slowly right you can have you can hide the close button if you want and now there will be no close button so this is this is uh, like you can play here and uh, then there is normal notification which is like this and this is almost the same properties okay there can be padding and there is the code as well that how you can implement it um then we have custom notification obviously there are a lot of things which you can do so this is the custom one if you want to custom customize anything and it's it's actually pretty easy here because you can customize each and everything and then there's a text toast like you can see my mind is all about you and yeah the messages just ignore the messages uh so proper pro pro propose marriage something like that oh he, this guy is <laughs> writing something okay loading then you can see there's a loading icon you can again change the background color to something else let's say this one some random colors okay so you can do a lot of stuff i'm gonna show you one or few or more things all okay so it's it's like everything in one particular screen custom loading custom notification custom text custom attached one you can see it looks like a toolbar overlay so yeah you can use it for overlays as well so that's the beauty about this particular uh, library so this was the fourth library of this particular series i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already press the bell icon to get the future updates and like share subscribe whatever you want to do and let me know in the comments uh if you have any suggestion to make a video on that particular library or plugin if you feel that that is a very good plugin or if you want me to do some implementation about that then let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching bye bye take care and happy new year again and there are a lot of other uh, libraries coming in next few weeks so keep watching and keep learning bye bye take care and the source code will be available on github so you can check it from the description link uh, okay so the link is in the description that's that's it oh okay bye bye